Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dimension. In today's video, we are going to explore five essential tools in Tecla structure that can boost your modeling speed and accuracy. Whether you are a beginner or working on advanced steel structure, this tool will save your time and effort. So let's start. Let's begin with the first and most basic tool that move tool. In Tecla structure, moving an object is one of the most common action. The conventional method is quite straightforward. First, you need to select one object then right click and select the move command from the toolbar or simply right click menu. Now you are just asked to pick a base point that could be any snap point on the object. Then you move the mouse and pick the target point often along a reference line or grid. This work well if you know exact where you want to move this object or if you are a person. But here the catch. What if you want to move the object a specific distance from other object and you don't know the exact look exit dimension or you don't want to measure or calculate the distance manually that's where a more advanced move method come in let me show how first select the object you want to move click the base point on the selected object now before choosing the destination hold down the control key on the keyboard then click a snap point on the other object this will become your reference space now type the distance where you want to move this object with reference to other object for example 200 mm and tecla will automatic automatic place your selected object at that exact distance distance from the reference object This technique save your time and reduce the chances of measurement error especially when you placing a repetitive kind of member like a bracing purling or plate in relation to the other component Now let's move on the second tool the exact profile tool This tool become very useful when you are working with a connection like a beam to beam or beam to column where bracing and gusset plate are involved often during connection detailing it may look like there is enough space between the gusset plate and the beam web but in reality the root radius of the beam might be clashing with the edge of the gusset plate and this kind of clash is not always visible in the regular model view to detect such issues we use the exact profile tool here how to do it simply select the beam then right click and from the contextual menu choose so exit line and don't forget to press the control button it will show the true roll shape of the profile including flange root radius and web thickness instead of just simp simplified box outline now as you can see the gusset plate is actually clashing with the root radius of the beam sometime you could not see before to fix this we need to reduce the size of the gusset plate slightly so that it will be clear from the root radius so first of all select the gusset plate identify the control points at the bottom and top corner of the plate use the move to shift that control points upward and downward direction slightly just enough to avoid this clash this is small adjustment ensure that the fabrication drawing will be accurate and there there is no any kind kind of uh, clashing and fit of issue and fit of issues on the side so remember when detailing close fit connection always use the exact profile view to catch this hidden line clashing early now let's talk about the powerful tool in tecla structure copy special with other object this tool is especially useful when you are when you want to copy a component that is connected to another object like a gusset plate connected to a beam place it on a similar beam elsewhere in the model let's walk through an example suppose we have a model with a gusset plate that's connected to a beam in a bracing connection and and now you want to copy this same gusset to another beam that is of the same size and or in same orientation here how to do it step by step so first of all just go to edit menu that navigate to do copy special or simply right click and go to the copy special with select with reference to other object 
Now select the component you wanted to copy. In this case, the budget. In this case, the budget plate. Choose the base point for the copy. Usually, a snap point or base point of the beam or plate. Next, select the target point, target object, which is the new beam where you wanted to place this gusset plate to be copied. If the target beam is exactly the same as original, same start and end point, orientation, size, and location, the gusset plate will be copied correctly and will sit in the same position relative to the other beam. However, in real life scenario, sometimes the orientation or start and end direction of the targeted beam may be reversed. In such cases, you might notice that the tickler still copied the component but placed in the other opposite side or in the wrong position because of the reference point does not match as ex expected. To fix such issues, you can use the copy special to another plane which give you more control over the orientation and placement by allowing you to copy component from one plane or level to another preserving the alignment properly. This tool is extremely useful when you want to copy object from one location to another while carefully preserving this orientation and positioning, especially when you are working on a different level or a different grid location. Let's walk through the step using a practical example. Suppose we have a plate or bracket connected to a beam and want to copy it to another beam in a different location or a different level but you want the orientation and placement of this plate remains same as the previous one so here how you can do it first of all select the object or component you want to copy right click go to the copy special with choosing to another plane Tegla will now ask for the some reference First, specify the base point, which X point, which act as an origin of this copy. Then, define the horizontal line by clicking two points. This tell about the tecla X axis or Y axis. Then, define the other vertical or horizontal axis. This create a reference coordinate system based on the your selected object. Now, move the destination object, such as another beam or location. Here, you repeat the same process. Pick a new base point then define the horizontal and vertical direction as we done already in a previous member. Tecla will now copy the object and place it in the exact same relative position in orientation as the original but on the new object. This tool is particularly powerful when you need to duplicate component across a metrical part of the model. Different floor or mirrored frames without worrying about the misalignment. The reference direction match for both the source and destination. If they are reversed or mismatched, the copied object may flip or appear in the wrong. Let's move on the smartest and most time saving tool in Tegla structure that is object, object group or selection filter tool. This tool helps you identify and select a specific group of identical components such as all plates, beam, bracing or column so that you can apply mass update or correction to those elements quickly and consistently. The shortcut of this tool is Ctrl plus G. As soon as you press Ctrl plus G, a new pop up window will open showing different categories, property, condition, and values. Here we will see how to use it step by step. First of all, under category, choose whether you wanted to filter by part or assembly. For example, if you want to filter any, any plate or beam or beam, just choose the part. In the property section, select name, which refer to the particular part name or assembly name. Set the condition to the equal. In the value section, click the option to select from the model or multi-selection. Then click on a specific part in your particular model, like a base plate, beam or bracing. Click apply then ok. Now when you perform window selection over the entire platform or structure, Tecla will automat automatically select only those parts that match the filter such as all plates, name is a plate or all beam with a certain size or types. With this filter, with this filter selection, 
you can now make mass changes whether it's modifying the attributes changing material profile or no component this tool is incredibly helpful when you are working with a larger structure and need to ensure uniformity and speed in editing and when you are done using the filter it is easy to exit just go back to the control z uncheck the active condition and then click apply and ok this reset the selection tool to normal mode allowing you to select all part again freely you can also save your filter condition for reuse especially if you are working on a multi phase or repetitive structure just click on save as and give your filter a name for the quick access letter friends if you like this video then please subscribe our channel if you are coming first time and share this video with your colleague and friend with your colleague and friends thanks for watching